Hey, welcome back to another one here on Chasing Green. As promised last week, today I'm going to be announcing the winners of the Onyx giveaway that we did in last week's video. If you're one of the winners, just comment down below in this video of how I can get a hold of you. We can either do email or you can give me your Instagram handle and I'll DM you on there and I'll get you these codes for your Onyx subscription. So without further ado, and I may butcher some of these names, but just bear with me here. But the first winner is Tony Connard from North Carolina. Number two, Jack Bear from Cali, California. Number three, the third guy getting their Onyx is gonna be Richard Johnson from Arkansas. Hey, represent. Number four, hashtag waterfowl obsessed from Illinois. And number five, the last and final winner, drum roll, could be you. Tom Newton from Illinois. So, like I said, if you did win, just comment down below in this video either your email or your Instagram handle, and I will reach out to you in one of those ways with uh, Buronics promo code. And without further ado, we're going to jump into the last Kansas video. This is going to wrap up the series that we did in Kansas. We've been struggling here in Arkansas. We have been able to get a few videos, though. We'll be releasing stuff all throughout the year, so hang with us. It'd be tips, reviews, some hunting videos, uh, some crappie fishing. And we're going to be doing a lot of stuff, Lord willing, over the summer and the off season. All of you who are with us every step of the way, we love you. We thank you. Let's get going on today's video. guys it's the last day in Kansas we're gonna end it where it all began on this trip uh, we had some good success here the first two days and we kind of left it uh, Gus just kind of snuck up ahead of us he ran up probably 25 or 30 uh, they were all sitting the water is super muddy in here so they've been here all morning but um, we're gonna try to get in these coffee beans over here it's gonna be kind of a sketchy hide but we're just gonna see what we can do and if that don't work we're gonna go get on that levee and shoot them when they come over but it's the last hoopty lie, so we're gonna pull out all the stops. Uh. There's four bombing in now. Jake was saying though, we're back where it all began. There's this big levee here. The wind's supposed to get up 20, 30 miles an hour out of the south. So we're hoping this levee's gonna kind of protect this little farm pond marsh thing we're on. And uh, like you said, there were some ducks sitting on it already. It's just seen four trying to ball up and come in here while we were out there talking. So Lord willing, it could be good. Uh, Last hoopty lie. Huh? Well, Jake and Gus just killed their first teal. I never seen it. Uh, I don't know if he like came over the low levee so low that I couldn't see him over those coffee beans or what, but they just went to shooting and I didn't even know what they were shooting at. Oh, if they had been green-headed Marlardos, they would have been toast. And they were fluttering over the coys here, we were ready. You guys couldn't take it any longer, though. Yeah. We just kind of sat there in silence. And then they're getting out, and uh...
I had to come over here to the lair of Jake and Gus. The lair of Suspania. Been sitting over here, kind of off of them, over here in this little clump of trees in the shade. And I done got a little bored sitting over there all in the lonesome for a few hours. And we're over here just gathered up, congregating for a minute. And Brother Jake wants to holler at y'all for a second too. What's up guys? I just kind of wanted to show you our little Suspania layer here. Suspania. Oh yeah, you're right, that is better. But yeah, we've pretty much just been hanging out, talking, and every so often we'll look up and there'll be a duck in the decoys. <laughs> and then we'll shoot it. super muddy it was like really obvious where the ducks have been sitting you could see the mud line so we figured we would re-muddy it just a little bit the wind's blowing so hard though it ain't gonna last long but uh, if we can muddy it up up in this grass where the wind's not catching it I think that'd be more effective in the Sesbania layer with brother Jake and Gus. Brother Jake killed him two teal in one shot a while ago that I was not fortunate enough to get. Never seen them come from anywhere. Heard them blow their teal call and then they immediately shot right there after. Had no clue they were here. And then we all got back in here and was talking about how they were sneaking up on us like that. They can't see them either till they're right on top of them. And we're all in here chilling and a greenhead just appears out there just like everything else and uh we got him on camera and the hen that was with him swung around and came over us and him and gus got her as well so we've now got eight or either eight or nine so they like 
We've got nine, four mallards and five teal, so they like three more and they will have killed their limit. Well, our time in Kansas is coming to an end. We're having to cut a little short. We still got, an, I'd say, another hour and a half. We got to go get packed up. We got to leave out three or four o'clock in the morning to make it back for some Christmas activities. It's been an amazing time. Kansas has been absolutely amazing. It's been some of the best hunting of my life. I've been doing it for a long time, so things have kind of gotten stale, and this just really really reinvigorated me and, and duck hunting and it don't take much to do that for me but it was awesome to come hunt in a new place. I challenge all you guys out there to go hunt somewhere new especially for you guys that are in kind of not the greatest states for duck hunting. I mean we're from Arkansas it's one of the best states in the world to duck hunt but it's still awesome to go allegedly to go <laughs> hunt new uh, new places and and for guys that are in great states and people who are coming in I mean we don't mind when people come hunt Arkansas I mean Everybody should get to experience Kansas, Arkansas, the Dakotas, Washington, all the great states. I mean, they're there for everybody. I mean, God made them. <laughs> so this is something everybody should experience. So I, I challenge all you guys to go hunt somewhere new. It was awesome for us. We've loved every minute of it. And uh, we hope to do it for years to come. And we hope people get to come experience our state. I mean, there's plenty enough room out there for everybody. But I've never been good with goodbyes. I'm kind of kind of sad to leave it. It's been amazing. The Golden Hills of Kansas has treated us far better than we could have ever imagined. Thank you for following us on this journey. We love you, and Lord willing, we'll catch you next time right here on Chasing Green.